All right, in this video, I'll show you how to find the oblique asymptote for this function. So first of all, we know it has a, an oblique asymptote because the degree of the numerator is greater than the denominator. And to find it, we're just going to do long division. And so let's go ahead and set it up. And basically, we look at the leading terms, and we ask ourselves, okay, what times x squared will give me x cubed? And of course, that's just x. And then we'll multiply x times each term here. We get x cubed plus 3x squared minus x. Notice everything lines up here. You have your like terms. And we're going to subtract this from what's above. So we'll have x cubed minus x cubed. That's 0. A negative 1x squared minus 3x squared. Negative 1 and negative 3, that'll be negative 4x squared. And um, we have 2x minus a negative 1x. That'll become plus 1x, and that's 3x. And we'll drop the minus 1. And then next, I need to look at the leading terms again and ask myself what times x squared is going to give me negative 4x squared. Of course that would be negative 4. We'll write minus 4. And we'll multiply here. We get negative 4 times x squared is negative 4x squared. Again, these should always match because of the way we're selecting our numbers here. Negative 4 times 3x, that'll be a minus 12x, and negative 4 times negative 1 will get a plus 4. Again, we'll subtract this from what's above. Negative 4x squared minus a negative 4x squared, that's plus 4x squared, we do get 0. We'll have 3x minus a negative 12x, that'll be plus 12x, we get 15x, and negative 1 minus 4, that's going to be negative 5. All right, so we can actually rewrite this using the answer we just got. The quotient, or our answer, is x minus 4 plus the remainder we got, 15x plus 5, over our divisor, x squared plus 3x minus 1. Now what we've learned is that our asymptote will be equal to what's here, y equals x minus 4. So that is our answer. The, the basic idea is, as x gets really big, positive, or really big negative, um, this denominator gets much bigger than the numerator, and this fraction approaches 0. So as x is getting really big on the ends, or really big negative on the other end, uh, this graph ap approaches y equals x minus 4 because this goes to 0. Alright, so that's it for that one. I hope that helps.